Hi everyone, in this video I want to try to make replica of this bicycle. The idea of creating this two-wheeled transport came to me 12 years ago, and 7 years later I'm going to start working on it. The first thing attracted me in this bike was its unusual frame. At first glance it seems easy to manufacture, but during the work there appeared some difficulties, and there were small subtleties in making of such frame. The second reason why I wanted to make it is that I've got such wheels that remain from the past project. I started with sketching of original part of the frame for cutting on the CNC machine. It certainly won't give 100% same size, but I'm not gonna make an exact copy. I think not everyone has CNC machine, and if someone would like to repeat such frame, I'll leave a reference with a frame template in the description which you can print, stick to the material, and saw with an ordinary fret saw. Fortunately the frame is not so complicated, so I drew a frame and vector, found a suitable cutter, and saved the project on the flashcard. Then I went to the garage, turned the computer, and opened the project in the control program for CNC machine. It's necessary first to check whether I've drawn everything correctly, for this purpose I took 6mm thick plywood. I'll use the most universal 2mm thick cutters due to my opinion. There are several materials from which I'd like to cut the final version of the frame. The first material is aluminum which fits about 100% for such frame. It's light, durable and the original frame is made of it. But as it turned out it's not that easy to find it in my region and it is not as cheap as I'd like. The spare variant is to make a frame from Textilite. It's a composite material and it's used for manufacture of printed circuit boards and electrical insulation. It is quite durable and also has small weight and can be machined easily. While I was thinking about the material the details got ready. I immediately made the second half of the frame. Everything fits for now, now we need to try on the wheels. As I said at the very beginning I'd use the wheels from the last project. The wheel tire is 24 by 3 inches, and was put on the white aluminum rim. Luckily I first worked with plywood. Such frame size and rear timberings won't simply let the wheel fit in. I checked the second wheel at once. A little mistake with a scale, it should be increased proportionally from 10 to 15% and everything will stand up properly. The rear wheel of the bicycle is not quite usual, it has a gear hub which has three gears on board, and it can break according to classical system pedals back. I enlarged the frame in the program, cut it and tried on again. Now I think that everything will be fine. The donor for the project will be an old bike from the dump. I'll need a head tube with a steer tube from it, the bushing with a shifting gear and pedals, and the retainer of the suspension seat post. I began with the removal of the shifting gear from the frame. For several years all bolts were burned and the easiest way was to saw them off with the grinding machine. An interesting fact was that this part perfectly fitted the under hole in the frame. To fix it in its place it's necessary to weld the washers on both sides which should be elaborated slightly further. We need to increase the central hole and to drill holes along the perimeter of the fastening. Then I welded the washers to the bushing. The distance between the washers will give a size for the frame bridges made of aluminum 12mm rod.
I'll cut the bridges on the lathe. Made a special stop in order not to measure each part with a ruler. For the project we need to make 50 bridges. In each bridge we're gonna drill a hole and cut threads on both sides. That quite long process took me all day even though I mechanized some part of the work. I choose Textilite as the frame's material due to its availability and price. In comparison with the plywood it is much harder and needs some special operating modes of the machine for its processing. While I was assorting them I broke a pair of cutters. I set the minimum speed and cut the parts without any problem. The detail was cut passably, it only needs to be treated with an emery paper a bit. Now I want to put everything together, but first with no jumpers as I want to check whether the holes will come together. The only thing I am not satisfied with is the flexibility of the rear wheel attachment. Up and down everything holds well, but it wobbles aside. I'll glue two elements to each other for more strengthening. For the best coupling I removed gloss from the details with the emery paper. I'll use the two component epoxy glue. I press the details for complete gluing. It's good that the glue is pre-accelerated and hardens in 5 minutes. Now that's another matter, the details became much harder, but if this won't help me I have another spare variant. Then I put them on their place and made the holes in them at once. Later I'll tell you what they are needed for and now we need to make the main attachment of the rear fork. For this purpose I took a pipe of suitable diameter and also took some washers which should be rebayered and have drilled fastening holes in them. They will be fixed on the pipe this way. First I'll weld two central washers for the size of previously sawed bridges, and the other two washers will be installed after twisting of the rear fork elements. Now all the elements for frame assembly are ready, the rear fork attachment with the shifting gear, frame elements, fastening bolts, and bridges. First I fixed the shifting gear on its place. Behind it I screwed the rear fork attachment and also screwed a pair of bridges along the perimeter. I lifted the frame and began to screw all the remained bridges. All bridges are screwed, the frame became smooth and rigid. Then I'll make pins which will stiffen the rear fork and prevent it from being torn off the fasteners. For this purpose I took a 14mm pin and drilled the previously made holes for it. The same technology as with aluminum bridges. It's time to screw the rear frame members. The left part didn't fit a little, and I had to rebra the hole with the filler.
the wool stood up without distortions and displacements, this is a good sign. That means we can weld washers to the pipe. I decided not to make them removable, it's an extra job. It's unlikely that once I'm gonna disassemble the frame, and if I have to I'll cut the welding. And here's a small strength test. It holds 85 kilograms nicely. I'll continue strengthening this knot in order it wasn't so flexible. So the scheme turned out quite working. And that's all for today. In the next video I'll make a completely aluminum fork, seat and steering wheel. If you liked this format of video write about it in the comments. Maybe it won't be the only such bike on my channel. And in the meantime thanks everyone for watching and support. As usual see you in the next video.